Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher, and with over 28 years of experience teaching in the public education system, I've specialized in teaching early primary grades, as for children ages 5 to 8. And the lessons I've created here are the same ones I use in my classroom on a daily basis. I've created hundreds of lessons in every possible curriculum area. So grab your tools for school and join in with our lessons, or just sit back and watch along with us. Let's do some learning together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. Hi everyone, this is my good friend Melvin the Monkey, and I'm Mr. C, the teacher. Welcome to my classroom. Melvin and I have put together a 10 episode series that covers the entire Calm curriculum. We cover the educator's guide entirely, and we've even added a few extras and, well, hopefully even a few surprises. In this episode, Melvin and I help you learn about the emotion of feeling sad. Hello, my hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. My eyes say hello. My eyes say hello. Every time I see my friends, my eyes say hello. My mouth says hello. My mouth says hello. Every time I see my friends, my mouth says hello. My feet say hello. My feet say hello. Every time I see my friends, my feet say hello. My body says hello. My body says hello. Every time I see my friends, my body says hello. Every time I see my friends, my body says hello. Okay, everyone looks ready to begin. Let's call Melvin. Do you remember his song? Where is Melvin? Where is Melvin? Where is Melvin? Here he is. Here he is. How are you today, sir? Would you like to play, sir? Come, let's play. Come, let's play. Where is Melvin? Where is Melvin? Here he is. Here he is. How are you today, sir? Would you like to play, sir? Come, let's play. Come, let's play. Where is Melvin? Where is Melvin? Here he is. Here he is. How are you today, sir? Would you like to play, sir? Come, let's play. Come, let's play. Hi, Melvin. Hey, we're glad you came back to visit us again. We had so much fun last time, and we learned a lot of great stuff. What are we going to learn today? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, Melvin. Melvin would like to know if anyone remembers his group rules from last time. Remember, when Melvin comes, he needs everyone to follow these rules so everyone can learn, have fun, and hear all the important things that Melvin has to say. Hmm. Being a good listener means we hear what our teacher and our friends say when they're talking. Now, when I think they remember, we have been practicing being good listeners and being respectful. Uh -huh. Melvin needs everyone to be really quiet when we're listening to the teacher talk and read stories. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Melvin says our bodies need to be comfortable so we are ready to listen and learn. Melvin says, we'll be doing lots and lots of moving, just like last time. 
But when we read the story, we need to get our body comfortable so we can listen to the story. I think you're right, Melvin. These children are really good at remembering the group time rules. Let's do some Melvin breaths. Hold your feather close to your nose and mouth. Now gently breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Did your feather move? Let's try again. Now, let's try and lie flat on our backs and try to do the same thing. Melvin's going to use the color gauge, and we've got a bigger one here. Melvin's going to use the color gauge to show us how our body has different energy levels. Let's look. The gray zone, thanks Melvin for pointing that out. The gray zone means you have low energy and you feel slow to move your body around. Maybe you're feeling sick or tired, you haven't had enough food, you kind of just want to sit there quietly, maybe even put your head down and rest. The gray zone. The green zone means your body is in the just right zone. You're ready to listen, to play, to pay attention. You're ready to learn. Your eyes might be watching, your ears listening, your voice quiet, and your body still. Melvin wants to show you what your body looks like when you are in the green zone. Look at Melvin. He's sitting quietly and his attention is focused at you. He's a good listener. You might be sitting crisscross or legs to the side, or you might be sitting on your legs, or you might even be standing. Everyone's green zone is different, and it might change a bit through the day. The red zone means your body is full of high energy. You've got lots of energy, and you need to move your body. Uh-huh. Melvin would like to show you guys what your body might look like if you're in the red zone. Oh, Melvin, you're full of energy, aren't you? You can barely sit still. Melvin, can you show the children how your body is feeling today? Melvin is pointing to the green zone. He says his body is in the just right zone, and he's ready to play and listen and learn. Uh -huh. Before you came to visit us, you had low energy and your body was feeling slow to move. You were in the gray zone. But now you're in the green zone, and you're feeling like you're in the just right zone, ready to listen and learn and play. I think you're right, Melvin. I think we should sing along with the color gauge song, and then afterwards we can talk about what zone our bodies feel like they're in. Are you in the gray zone, gray zone, gray zone? Are you in the gray zone, feeling tired today? Are you in the redhead zone, redhead zone, redhead zone? Are you in the red zone, energized today? Are you in the green zone, green zone, green zone? Are you in the green zone, just right today? Hey Melvin, that was a great song there. Now why don't we ask all of you guys what zone your body is in? Tell us, are you in the gray, the red, or the green zone. All right, go ahead and share. What's that? Melvin is feeling like his body is in the red zone and he needs to move around. He has a song that he thinks will help 
his body and maybe your body too. And that way you can use up some of his energy. He wants you to move along to the song too. Melvin hammers with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Melvin hammers with one hammer all day long. Melvin hammers with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Melvin hammers with two hammers all day long. Melvin hammers with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Melvin hammers with three hammers all day long. Melvin hammers with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Melvin hammers with four hammers all day long. Melvin hammers with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Melvin hammers with five hammers. Melvin's work is done. Yeah! Melvin, you really like to move your body. It can help to move our bodies when we're in the red zone. Let's get our bodies comfortable so we can listen to the story today. Is everyone ready? Hey, great idea, Melvin. Hey, Melvin wants me to read a short story about emotions. And then he wants us to guess what emotion or feeling the story is about. So, I'll read the short story, and then you guys can guess what it's about. Melvin just found out that he gets to spend time with his grandma this weekend. Melvin and his grandma do lots of fun things together, like baking and reading stories. and going to the park. He could hardly wait for the weekend to arrive. Melvin told his friend Tucker the great news, and Tucker thought about his grandma and grandpa, who lived very far, far away. Which emotion do you think Melvin is feeling? Which emotion do you think Tucker is feeling? What are some ideas that you have that could help Tucker feel better? Do you have some examples of when you felt sad? Melvin wants us to learn the feeling sad. Let's listen to the story that he brought us today. Melvin wants us to learn more about the feeling of sad. Melvin and his friend Bunny have brought us another book. This one's called When I'm Feeling Sad. Let's listen to the story that he's brought us. Well, hey, it's Little Rabbit again. Let's see. Little Rabbit's come to tell us again that we need to pay special attention to the story because at the end, there's going to be three questions that we're going to be asked. When I'm feeling sad. By Tracy Moroni. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like someone has taken all the colors away and everything is gray and gloomy and droopy. When I'm feeling sad, I feel like I could cry and cry and cry so much that I make a flood. I want to crawl into bed and pull the covers over my head and stay there until the sadness goes away. Some things that make me really sad, like when I hear mom and dad arguing, or when I'm sick and my body doesn't work properly, or when someone or something 
I love dies. It's okay to let yourself feel sad, but it could help to talk to someone about it. Sharing your feelings can sometimes make you feel better. When I'm feeling sad, I try to be kind and gentle to myself. I like to soak in a big bubble bath or listen to my favorite music. Sometimes just being with friends and family makes me feel better, even if I don't want to talk. But the nicest feeling of all is when a kind person gives me a hug and says, everything is going to be okay. Sad. When I'm feeling sad, questions. One, what does the bunny feel like when he is feeling sad? Two, what kinds of things make the bunny feel sad? Three, how does the bunny make himself feel better and not feel sad anymore? Melvin says he feels sad when no one wants to share their bananas. I feel sad when my friends don't listen to me when I'm trying to tell them something important. Melvin wants to show you his sad face. Are you wiping a tear away? Take a look at our emotion and feeling poster. Here's Melvin's sad face. Melvin wants you to show him your sad face. What makes you feel sad? Melvin says he's brought us a solution story again. Let's see what the solution might be. Melvin was so excited to see that there was Play-Doh at one of the tables. When it was his turn to leave group time, he went over to the Play-Doh table. Melvin was sad that there were no chairs left for him. Melvin asked his friends if they would share the Play-Doh and they said there was no more room at the table. Melvin was sad and angry now and he just wanted to take the Play-Doh from his friends. Melvin knew this was not a good solution, but he was too angry to think of a good solution. Melvin went to the Solution Center and looked at the solutions cards. He wanted to pick a solution to help his body and mind feel better. Which solution do you think Melvin picked to help him feel better? Melvin chose the take a breath solution to help his body and mind feel better. When would be a good time that you could take the take a breath solution? Sometimes if someone is feeling sad, they can take a deep breath and that might help them feel better. When you're feeling sad, you might want to take a break from what's going on and take some time to think. Then, when you're ready, you can go to the Solution Center to find a solution that might work. Taking a breath might be the solution that works for you. Then, 
you can tell someone why you're sad. Melvin, this is a really good solution from our solution center. Uh, you really like this song, don't you? Okay, everyone, let's curl up on the floor and pretend to be asleep. Let's listen to the song, and when the song says, wake up soon, jump little monkeys, jump, 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 you will stand up and jump up and down. And when it says stop, you'll curl up and be a sleeping monkey again. Okay, everyone, let's go curl up on the floor. See the little monkey sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us wake them with a merry tune. Oh, so still are they ill. Wake up soon. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. Jump, little monkeys, now you stop. Sleepy time to sleep. See the little monkey sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us wake them with a merry tune. Oh, so still are they ill. Wake up soon. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. Jump, little monkeys, now you stop. Do, 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 do. See the little monkeys stirring, finishing their nap. Melvin, come and wake them with a gentle tap. Oh, so slow, voices low. Off we. Go. Hey, Melvin, that was great. Thanks so much. Hey, everyone, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining me today in our lesson. Hope to see you again soon. I hope you had some fun, worked on some new skills, and maybe learned something new as well. Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Bye for now. For some more great videos by Mr. C, the teacher, go to Google and do a search for Mr. C's full name, Chris Castellarin, under YouTube. So type in Chris Castellarin YouTube, and you'll find plenty more videos.